Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video we're going to do something a little bit different. What we are going to do is a small review of Built Hamber Deoxy. Now, I've not used this before, um, so I want to see what uh, effect it has upon rusted components because I've got both my motorcycle projects which have got several rusty parts on that uh, obviously I want to try and clean up. So, um, what I'm going to be doing in this video is um, a bit of a review and uh, see how we get on. So for those of you who uh, are regulars to my channel, you may uh, you may realise obviously that I've moved house recently and in doing a little bit of gardening underneath one of the hedges as we were cutting it back, um, my wife found these. Uh, it's a, just a set of um, old school secateurs and as you can see they're quite significantly rusty. So it gave me the idea. Um, I'd like to see if this deoxy can remove this rust and see what we're left with afterwards. So what we're going to do is I'm going to um, put these into uh, into a plastic container. I'm going to mix up the deoxy in accordance with the, um, the instructions on the back of the bottle and, uh, and, and see how they turn out. Okay, so um, obviously uh, the application instructions, it says before you use check metal compatibility. Obviously these are made of steel, so they're, they're fine. Um, it says to dissolve by weight or volume, one part deoxy to 19 parts water, using hot water speeds the dissolution. So what I've got is I've got um, the kettle, uh, I boil the kettle, so we'll use that. Um, higher strength solution will remove very heavy rust and provide a, work, uh, a longer working life. Now the suggested maximum strength is one part deoxy to four parts water. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with a, you know, a slack handful uh, and see, uh, see how we get on. Plastic or stainless steel containers are suitable for holding the prepared solution. Soak the item from 20 minutes to overnight, depending on the severity of the corrosion. Avoid excessive soaking of clean items. Brush away any loose rust occasionally during treatment using a stiff, bristled plastic or wire brush. After the rust is completely removed, wash item in plenty of clean water. Dry item immediately and apply protective coatings or treat with water displacing fluids such as built hammer ferrosol, obviously WD-40 and such and such, GT-85, anything like that. Um, heating deoxy with, for example, immersion heaters to a maximum of 90 degrees C will dramatically increase corro corrosion removal speed. Check the surface cleanliness hourly. Obviously, I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm just gonna use the, um, the action of boiling water with the deoxy to see how we get on. What I'll do, I'll, um, put it all in, um, I'll leave it overnight and come back to it tomorrow and see how we get on. Okay then, so, uh, yeah, very, very rusty. They don't even bend the, you know, it's absolutely solid. Everything on them is absolutely solid. Um, it'd be interesting to see how these turn out afterwards. The rubber handle grips, uh, I'm not sure how they're gonna come out, but I, that can be replaced with um, some heat shrink afterwards if, um, if it's necessary for me to remove them and cut them off. But I'll leave them on there for now and uh, see how we get on. Put them in the uh, put them in this tub. Pour some boiling hot water in, so it completely covers the item. And there we go. And what I'll do, I am just going to liberally pour the powder in. Now that's, I'd say that's pretty, pretty. Yeah, that's a pretty good amount, I reckon. Well, I'll leave it at that. As you can see, there's bubbles coming off already. So what I'm gonna do is move the camera away because obviously <laughs> we steamed up there. But uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this overnight and see how it looks tomorrow morning. Okay, everyone, so it's been um, about 24 hours, give or take 15, 20 minutes. So what I wanna do now is uh, see how this, uh, how this uh, solution of deoxy has dealt with the rust on this, uh, on this pair of cutters. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a pair of gloves on because if it can remove rust, I'd imagine it's probably not too good for your skin. So 
Uh, I'd rather err on the side of caution. It, there probably is a warning on the bottle, um, which I probably should have read. However, right, gloves on. Let's uh, let's take a look. So let's pop the lid off. Wow, that is absolutely phenomenal. There's a couple of bits of rust still on there, but they seem to be, in fact, they're rubbing off. But that is crazy. Let's see if I can open them up. Not at the moment, but. The, uh, where the rust has come off is absolutely insane. Right, what I'm gonna do as, uh, as it says on the side of the box, is I'm going to give it a rinse under some cold water and then come back in. Okay then, so that's, that's it rinsed off. And let's have a... Let's have a look at what we're left with. <laughs> I think you could safe to say that that is an absolutely phenomenal transformation. That that this spring was absolutely solid yesterday. Uh, the little locking device didn't move. However, they are still jammed. But I think if uh, I undo that nut, we might be able to pull them apart. And I'm also going to give them a good liberal dousing of WD-40. But I think it's. Uh, I think you'll agree that that is a phenomenal transformation. Well, I think it's uh, I think it's a product that I can honestly endorse. So when it comes to uh, when it comes to the parts on the bike, I think uh, I think it will absolutely. And uh, you know, annihilate the rust on those. Um, I mean, none of those parts are anywhere near as rusty as this was. So this was a really, really good test of the product. Um, but uh, yeah, the uh, the bike parts, the rust, the rust should absolutely come off. And then um, after that, I can use uh, zinc plating uh, or anything like that, electro plating to uh, to make them look brand new again. Anyway, um, hopefully you found that uh, that you know th this video informative. Um, and uh, yeah, if you uh, if you enjoyed it, then please uh, give me a like, uh, leave a comment in the uh, in the comments box, and um, I'll see you all again for the next video. Thank you very much. Bye bye now. Bye -bye.